So what to make of the Republican tax uh, deal? If you watch the media over the weekend, it is either going to absolutely destroy our economy and throw us into debt forever, or it's going to bring about a golden age where $100 bills will be dropped from random airplanes upon our parties. Here with the natural truth is Grover Norquist, president of Americans for Tax Reform. Grover, thanks for joining us on the podcast. Absolutely. So if which you one want, is it? If you want to know how good this tax bill is, listen to how upset the left is. They are beside themselves. And uh, I think this is a huge, significant um, Joe Biden big deal uh, step <laughs> in the it uh, is not everything you need to do. It's a good first step. It is a very significant, meaningful first step. It's not a nibble in the right direction. We take our business taxes, the corporate income tax, from 35%, worst in the world. It, communist China, socialist China is at 25%. We're at 35 okay? The lower number is the better number if you're trying to sell goods and services on a competitive basis in the world. We go to 21. Europe is around 21. Uh, I think eventually we need to get where Bush wanted to be, 15. But um, we go from when a company earns $100, they used to keep today, they keep $65. Government takes 35. Now they're going to keep $79. That's a 23% increase in your after-tax cash flow. Imagine what that does to the value of, of a company's stock. This Well, Grover, let me interrupt you right there because what we know what it does, it creates more evil, filthy lucre for the greedy corporate paymasters who are monopoly board style sitting there with their top hats and cigars to shove into their pockets because they're not going to spend a penny on this on wages and growth, Grover. I know. I saw it on CNN. Right. What do people think General Motors does with its money? Right. It can it can uh, <laughs> they can't go to take vacations. It, it's not a person. It's a company. And if they want to get riches, creases, if that's the goal, then they got to go do more stuff. And that means hiring more people and building more buildings and factories and office buildings. Uh, all of this stuff creates jobs and raises wages and opportunities. We have been losing investment to other countries. I've talked to Swiss bankers who say that the United States will become a tax haven and the giant sucking sound will be capital from around the world, not just the American business profits that are overseas, three million, three billion, trillion, 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 three trillion dollars of American profits overseas that will largely come back to the United States. But just people with money in Brazil and France and Japan will invest in the United States because we're cutting our taxes and with faster depreciation, full business expensing. It drops the cost of all business innovation and all new investment. On the individual side, the first and fourth married couple uh, is at a 0% tax rate, $24,000, no tax. Uh, right now it's 12, it's going to go to 24,000. That's a big deal. And the people who say this is just for rich people um, are lying. I mean, maybe they haven't read the thing, but they're lying. There's 6.6 .6 million Americans who in 2015 and each year get punished because they don't buy Obamacare. If you refuse to buy Obamacare, you get a tax, a fee, a, a, a penalty. It's $700 for a person. It's $2,400 for a family of four. And 6.6 .6 million people were hit in 2015, the last year I have the numbers for it. Uh, that number goes to zero with this bill. 6.6 .6 million people have been paying hundreds of dollars for nothing. They don't get health care for this. They get punished for this. That's the, the that's what Obamacare did. It punished you if you didn't buy their stuff. Uh, punishment over. Well, I have to interrupt uh, you once again right there because I saw it last night on MSNBC. It's going to take away health. It's going to go to people's homes, Grover, and take their health care from them by ending the individual mandate. It's going to wrestle it out of their hands and deny them their health care. Isn't that right? Well, if you believe that when the Berlin Wall came down, people were expelled from East Germany, <laughs> uh, that when you stop forcing people to buy Obamacare, you've actually taken something from them. That's a, a great point. Now, let me ask you, what do you think this bill gets wrong? Well, it, it's it's the half measures. It's, it's where, because it had to fit in a size a certain box, there's nothing the Republicans were moving in the wrong direction on. They weren't trying to do anything 
destructive. Uh, but a couple of examples. We get rid of the uh, alternative minimum tax for most people, but not for everyone. A little bit of it stays. This is because of budget constraints. Uh, we need to get rid of it. I do worry if somebody said we got rid of five of the six uh, tapeworms uh, in your intestines, <laughs> would still be worth uh, I'd go, that's good. Uh, one is better than, than, than six. However, uh, small taxes can grow. Uh, we mostly get rid of the death tax. Same problem. Uh, we have mostly gotten rid of the death tax before. It can come back. Uh, step in the right direction, clearly making it clear that that's where we're trying to get to. Uh, takes thousands and thousands of people who are threatened with you know losing the family farm or having their business broken up. Uh, no longer have that fear. Very, very helpful. Very important. We also don't fix for 5 million Americans who work overseas. We ended the double taxation on businesses where today, if you earn money, your company earns money in France. France takes some. Um, the United States government taxes it as well. A French person earning money in the United States, we take some, but nobody in France steals his money, right? They go, you made money in America. They took some. That's great. Bring it back. Spend it. Uh, you know, uh, go to the Champs Elysees and get a, a coffee. Uh, but in the United States, we punish you uh, and, and have a second tax on top of whatever other countries do to you. Uh, but we still do that to people. There are five million Americans working overseas. They pay um, French taxes and American taxes. Uh, they sh we should just say if you earn your money in the states, we tax you. If you earn your money in France, France bothers you. And when you come back or send your money back, good. Uh, that would make it easier for Americans to get hired overseas because right now we're more expensive than Germans, French people, Japanese people. Uh, so we didn't even get going on that one. Most of the other things we got going on, we haven't cut the capital gains tax yet. Uh, it was brought up, increased by Obama. We haven't abolished all of the Obamacare taxes. We're getting rid of some of them, but not all of them. Well, Grover, let me interrupt you right there for a political question. What about the argument that by getting rid of the individual mandate, you've actually gotten rid of Obamacare? It's like ripping the transmission out of the vehicle. So you can pretty much say, hey, we killed it. Do you think that argument will fly? Well, two things. It helps that the Democrats will be making the case for the next uh, nine months. They'll be screaming that. They, they believe that if it's not, not mandatory, it's dead. And they may be right. Uh, they built this stupid thing. Uh, they've decided that if you don't make it mandatory, 13 million Americans will say, to hell with this, which is not a very good product if you think about it. Uh, you, just, you know, no one would buy my product unless they had a gun to their head. It's not much of a sales pitch. Uh, however, this is tax reform, tax reduction, pro growth. This is going to create millions of jobs. Uh, very, very helpful. But there's more, like those late night commercials. There's more. This opens Anwar in Alaska for drilling. There is 10 billion barrels of oil in uh, Anwar. Uh, and all of Prudhoe Bay has only been 12 and a half billion over the last uh, 40 years. Uh, and that has kept Alaska afloat. So this is very important to American energy self-sufficiency. It's very important to Alaska because there are people up there whose jobs depend on this. Uh, that's huge. Uh, we get rid of Obamacare's penalty tax so that people have more options. Uh, and uh, the next step is we go in the spring, April, and do entitlement reform. Then we send out to the states, we block grant to the states, welfare, food stamps, aid to families with dependent children, now TANF, uh, Medicaid, and competent governors will welcome this. And incompetent governors will say, no, we'd rather Washington buy it. But this allows states to save a lot of money, to end a lot of fraud. I think if we go into the next election, and we cut your taxes, we reform taxes, and we reformed all of the welfare programs that block grant them out to the states, which reduces upcoming debt quite a bit. Uh, this election will be very good for Republicans. Grover Norquist, thank you so much for your uh, time and spot on analysis. We really appreciate it. Hey, good to be with you. This is fun.